All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so today I'm cooking some smothered chicken, okay? So if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Even if you aren't new, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video and leave us some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook, interact with us because we do like to hear from you. All right, I'm going to get started. I got my chicken all rinsed off and everything. What you want to do is you want to rinse. I'll rinse my chicken off. Um, some people are against doing that because they feel like you're just spreading the salmonella everywhere or whatever because the particles splash off the water, I mean splash off the chicken on your counter. Just make sure you do a good job of cleaning everything up. Uh, so I, I rinse my chicken and then I pat it dry, okay, so that I can get as little um, water, all, I mean I don't want a lot of I don't want water on it at all so I try to pat it off, okay. So now I'm going to season them up, season up my chicken. Paprika, okay, I'm gonna just put a tablespoon in the description box, but what I do y'all I sprinkle until the Lord tell me to stop, okay? So I'm up and I sprinkle I, I, I season my flour and I season my chicken. I want everything to have I want it to be you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to taste some seasoning. This is um this uh says what is that sazonator total? I got some really big thighs. Uh, I, I'm using chicken thighs. I was gonna use small, smaller chicken thighs and legs, but um, this was just a better deal to just get thighs. Uh, Cajun seasoning. It's gonna focus. Okay, that's not gonna focus. A little uh, onion powder. It's supposed to be auto focusing now. A uh, little, little, little bit cayenne pepper. I'm mostly the paprika and the cayenne pepper. I'm really just adding those for the color, really. I'm using Simple True Italian seasoning. And all these, all these ingredients, I'm gonna, um, it's in, they'll, they'll be in my flour as well. So I season my chicken, and then I season the flour as well. Seasoning salt, my Lowry's, okay. Um, oregano, oregano. <laughs> oh, I keep meaning to say something that I ought, um, because uh, somebody was like. Oh, Nicole Smith, she said, do I really say paprika like that? Like, was I being serious or do, did I really know how to say paprika? Pa paprika? I do. I just like to say paprika. I also say croutons instead of croutons. And what else? Um, that was uh, this Grill Mates mesqu uh, Mesquite seasoning. I, wanted, I usually put kicking chicken, which is in my flour, but um, I can't find it right now. Uh, oregano jalapenos I like the jalapenos alright and that was some uh, onion powder I mean garlic powder sorry alright so now I got all my seasons I'm just gonna like you know do that with my hands and get the seasons everywhere on all the chickens okay so you're just basically moving this around you want to get all you know, you want to get all your seasoned chicken up. I mean, your chicken seasoned your seasoned chicken up. Get all that seasoning all everywhere, okay? I am going to let this chill in the refrigerator for 30 minutes okay uh, it's really a key to it's really the key to really like making sure you, you get some really good fried chicken okay so I'm gonna let that chill for 30 minutes and then I'll be back all right it's been 30 minutes Oops. 
my grease is nice and warm. Get on in my flour. All right, so put my flour, my chicken in there. I'm gonna coat it. I mean, I'm making sure I get flour everywhere, okay? If some of the skin let up, I'm put the flour in there too. And like I said, I I I season every I season my chicken before I coat it in flour, and I also season my flour. So, cause I like really want to be able to taste the seasoning. You feel me? And I'm also gonna season the gravy too. Sure am. Got a nice, nice little color on the chicken on that side, so we're gonna flip it over. Oh, shoot! This is medium. You, what do you need your heat on? Uh, it could be on high now. You put the flour in there. Where's your spatula? Because you got so you gotta stir. It. Hey, I'm joined by my mama. She over here, okay, cause she makes really good smothered chicken, okay. So I had to, you know, I had to call the master and see what's <laughs> up, you know. I mean, even though I do know how to make gravy, but she make really good smothered chicken, so I need it to be exactly how I got it. Yes, we all those lumps. So since we uh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is that, what's that on the crack? Come on. Oh, yeah. Shoot, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Get down. Yeah. Oh, shoot, shoot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get down out there. Get down out there. What's on the crack? Oh, it is. Well, turn it off. Turn it off. Shoot. Well, you got something else I can uh, do. I just, yeah, hit it. 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 Chicken, it's gonna be good. Okay. Well, that was a little be a little hot here. <laughs> that was a lot. That <laughs> was a lot there. No paprika. Yeah, paprika for some uh, coloring. There we go. See that color is coming in there. Uh -huh. Some glorious seasoning salt. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Some of that in there. Ma'am, now, do you have a pan? Do you have a long pan? Give me a long pan. With some onions, because I really wanted some onions in my, uh, on there. And then we're going to pour this gravy on top. Yep, once the gravy is finished, which is not quite ready yet, I have a couple of few more items. And I want to find You got any parsley? Put some parsley on top of that dresses it up. Oh, that looks good. It's going to be good. Mm. Mm. Okay, there you go. Pick this it, pick that up, and you can start here. Make sure they get evenly in the corners. Holding it up, get over there. That's it. Now this has to be wrapped real tight because it's gonna swell once it really, really starts to cook. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're turning. See how the chicken is? We're turning the chicken. I'm sorry, it was out of view. But we're turning the chicken over because we want the gravy at the bottom of the pan as well. Because we're gonna. You can give me the parsley flakes. Yep. We just garnish this just for a little color. I don't know, I just got a thing about color. That's basically all the paprika is for, used for, color it. And parsley flakes is also just used as a garnish and a decoration. Really doesn't do anything for the food, not that I know of. So you put it over those onions, make those onions. Yep, 
and there you go. And then you want to wrap that up as tight as it can wrap it up and put it on low and let it simmer. And I guarantee you probably won't be able to pick it up out the pan because it'll be falling apart. And you should make a good pan of cornbread. Oh. Look at this, y'all. Look at it, okay? It don't, you know what? It, it, the, the, this camera not even doing it justice. Look at that. The gravy looks beautiful, okay? We turned the chickens over. Like, it's just, it's amazing. The, the, the you know, the onion is nice and cooked in there. It's so good. It's, it's really good. Like, I can't wait to eat, okay? So, you know what I'm saying? I may end it off here. No, I'm gonna give y'all a close up. I'm gonna give y'all a close up, but, um, I give y'all a close up right as I'm making, uh, or right before I eat, because I am going to move on with this. Okay. I made some rice as well, so. Made some rice. I would have filmed that, but y'all, sorry, my bad. Okay. But in any event, um, yeah, that's it. That's it. You, um, we put it in the oven for like an hour at, I put mine at 375 because my, um, oven i have an electric stove um but yeah uh hope y'all make this i hope y'all like it all right so yeah well here is what the finished product is looking like y'all i mean even still this just does not do it justice look at it, it looks so good and it was even tastier so thank you so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave some comments down below let us know things you like to see us try Things you like to see us cook, interact with us because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.